This is Dave Reese of Blue Rail Trains. Today I'm going to show you a cool feature we just added to the iOS Blue Rail app, and I think you're going to like it. One of the challenges in model trains is calibrating your chuff rate so it syncs up with the motion of your loco. You get a much better experience if your loco sounds like the speed it's going. But if you've ever had to calibrate a chuff rate in DCC, you know it's not that easy. The best method is to have a little camera that films your wheel from underneath the loco, but that's a lot of hassle and expense. So in the Blue Rail app, we've added a little utility that makes it easy for you to calibrate your chuff rate in just a couple of minutes. If you have your local sound scheme set to steam, you can go to your train control screen and you bring out the sound panel. And if you bring out a little further where the settings are, these are the volumes and for choosing sounds, you get a new chuff rate button. Click the chuff rate button and this takes you into the chuff rate calibration screen for this loco. So what you have is down at the bottom you've got these little buttons that allow you to step through speed steps that your loco's traveling. I haven't hit start yet so the loco's not moving. And while that's going on, here in the firebox you have a list of sounds organized from slowest to fastest and those will be playing and you can just sort of scroll through until you feel like the sound lines up with the motion of your wheel. The goal is you want to sound like four chuffs per revolution of the wheel. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to get hit start here and try it out. So I'm at speed step two right now. You can play with your sounds until they match what you want it to. I'm at speed step three. That one looks pretty good. I'm going to move on up to speed step four. So as you see, you just sort of hop through until you get it sounding the way you want it to sound. Speed step five. Chest sound 20. Speed step six. 21 sounds pretty good. Let's go to speed step seven. Uh, 22 sounds pretty good. Speed step eight. That one sounds pretty good. I'll leave it on 25. Speed step nine. So remember, I'm just watching the wheel, and I want four chests per revolution of the wheel. Looks good. And I'll go up to speed step 10. Okay, now once you've reached the fastest chuff in the list, you're done. The app will manage the sound on all faster speeds. You can hit stop. Now when you return to your train control screen, your calibration settings have been saved. And when you run your train, it uses your values. When your train's operating, the chuffs gradually move along with your speed just as you set it. It may not be as accurate as a camera, but you can easily do it yourself in just a couple of minutes. To me, this is an example of putting a simple interface on something that used to be hard to do. If you have a Blue Rail board, you can start playing with this interface right now. I know Bachman has some Bluetooth Steam on the horizon, and when those come out, you can rest assured those will be nicely calibrated in the app. This is Dave Reese from Blue Rail Trains. Hopefully I'll have something else real cool to show you very soon.